there's a nice route uh, that sort of follows the, the, the meandering of the Brandywine Creek. Takes us through Westchester a little bit, uh, and it goes all the, basically all the way down to that bridge that you wanted to see. All right, I'm ready when you are. So I wrote a blog post about uh, some of my favorite routes through Pennsylvania, and uh, someone commented on it saying that they like it's like Creek Road or something. Yeah, that's right. Down to Delaware. So I started uh, looking at it, and I thought, wow, this, there's a bridge down there. That looks like fun. Yeah, that, that's absolutely the way. Yeah, and it's it's a quite long road that's split into several parts. It starts off as North Creek Road coming off of 322 and then it changes to Creek Road and then basically that you can take that all the way down to uh, to that bridge, well almost to that bridge, you kind of got to take a little detour at the end. Oh, you feel that breeze, Whew. I don't think I've ever been to this park. Oh, it's, it is very, very pretty. And it's got two sides to it as well for pictures and whatnot. Watch out for that horse on the left. Yeah, it was there when I came in. It's all clear down here. A little bit of guff on the bottom. I expect your slow speed manoeuvring is a lot better than mine now. <laughs> Yeah, that class showed me so, that I've got some, some things to work on, though. <laughs> I think one of my problems is that I just don't ride enough. You know, it's like... Uh, there's no actual uh, stop here, but uh, it's steep. <laughs> yeah, I don't ride enough, so I, my skills atrophy quickly. So when I come out of the winter season and I get back on the bike, I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. It was a long day down there, but I think I'm going to take that class again, especially since it's free. And where is that? Norristown? Yeah. Yeah, I should really do that. I was thinking about doing the beginner class again, though, just because I'm so far behind on my skills. Oh, they do those there as well. Yeah, I've not been there. So that location does the beginner course, the intermediate course, and the three-wheel course. Ah. I've got no interest in riding a three-wheeler, but I'm, I'm kind of interested to take the class just for the experience. I don't really understand the point of three-wheelers. I suppose if you're infirm, uh, they have some value, or if you're a regular, you regularly ride two up. Um, but you know, it's it's the leaning that is what I enjoy about motorcycle riding, and you can't do that on a trike. Yeah, it wouldn't have the same. Uh, I don't know. It just I don't. I think it, it'd be completely missing. You know, I think I I just miss it too much. It'd be fun to be out there, but the leaning is the fun part. This road has been fantastic ever since they put the new asphalt down. The trouble is everybody knows it. <laughs> is this 282? Yep. This is actually Creek Road. Okay. 
yeah it sort of breaks up in the middle for the for Westchester but it's yeah but this is actually Creek Road and that's a cyclist Honestly though, there's like a thousand creek roads. Yeah, that's why I had some trouble trying to decipher what, what route this guy was telling me. He just said creek road and yeah, I didn't even know where to begin. No, it's, it's, it's actually, because it's not that far from where I live, it's actually a road that I've, I ride on quite a lot. It's a really good road for um, uh, like a raw sound Sunday video, because then you can just concentrate on the riding and then put it up so people can see it and you don't have to worry about the talking and all that. And as long as there's not too much gravel, um, you can sort of be quite spirited with the riding. Down here with Steve a few months back, I think we went down to about Coatesville, turned around and went back up. Back yeah. Well, this road runs parallel to 82, which is Manor Road, which is also a good road, but this one is a twistier road because of its proximity to the river. If it wasn't for the speed limit, I would be past this Subaru like a scolded cat. Friday, I decided to take a ride out to Kutztown. We ended up taking 737 to 143 and then back down. That was a really nice ride. Yeah, yeah, Kutztown, um, that, that sort of area was, was where I was thinking about doing that ride that got rained off because it's quite close to those two huge uh, lakes. And, you know, Kutztown, it's got a, a nice uh, red robin. And it's also, you know, not that far from the Drywalbis Bridge. So it's a pretty good area. I, I really like that area around the uh, Ontolawney and uh, what is it called? Blue Marsh Lakes, Lee Sport, that sort of area. I kind of like Burst County for riding, just in general. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm sort of, my wife and I, we're really struggling to find a new home. And I'm, I'm sort of fearful that we're going to end up moving out, uh, out west to sort of State College area, just to get the lower prices. And it's going to take, it's going to take me away from a lot of good riding. It's going to bring in a lot of good riding, but it's going to make group riding really tough for me. What areas have you been looking at? Well, I was kind of hoping for something in the Percasy area. But and honestly, anywhere in sort of North Montgomery, um, uh, sort of um, Bucks County, know, dog. Uh, even sort of Southern Lehigh. I mean, any, anywhere in that region, really, would be great. But, you know, it's like I'd have to spend 100000 more on a house. <laughs> I don't know if I can justify that additional expense. Uh, this, is, this is one of those situations where I wish we could filter. I 
mean, look, it's like ridiculous. This bakery on the right here, Bakers of Buffington, stunning cakes. Really, really good, like with buttercream. Quite well decorated. still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I've just got that fucking double beep thing in my headset and I'm just wondering what that's all about. I get that from time to time and I have no idea what it is. Yeah, because it's not battery. That's what I don't get. It's definitely got a naughty exhaust on it, I think. I had no idea where that guy came from. He wasn't behind me I think uh, he, when we when we got in all that traffic. Yeah, I think he was. I think he came from the the, the um uh, the other side, the Exton direction. Oh come on! Get Royal Barge down there. Oh, these are new. Yet more new apartments. It's like they're everywhere. Well, we've got like about four miles of boring bit. Okay, this is the area where uh we met for the ride to uh, this ferry. Oh. And at that Wawa, well, one of our stops was that Wawa back there. That makes sense. There's a covered bridge uh, on the left. Um, Harmony Hill, I think it's called. You can't go through it this way, though. You can you can only come through it from the other direction. I didn't know there was one down here. Yep, it's just on the left, uh, around a couple of bends. It was uh, a bridge that uh, a few years ago it got um, very badly damaged by some asshole truck driver. Uh, with a bunch of steel, just uh, drove through and knackered it. But I think they fixed it up now. Surprising how often that sort of thing happens. Yeah, well, you know, it's. It, I think GPS is one of the reasons. <laughs> well, as luck would have it, the light has changed, so you can get a good look at the bridge on the left. Oh wow, yeah, like right there. But you can only come through from the other direction. I thought you meant that I was going to have to look for it. Well, you know, look out into the distance to see it. Right, that's right there. I'll have to remember that, come back to it at some point. Yeah, you just have to come back to it from the other side. Um, there's a, there's a, uh, what is it called? A, um, a, um, oh man. A Wegmans in the sort of halfway between Exeter and Downingtown. If you go down that road, Quarry Road, it eventually leads to here. Okay. So that's the that's the direction you want to come from. It's kind of unusual for a bridge like that to be so close to a main road. Well, I expect the main road came after. <laughs> This is not a bad road because it follows the uh, the river, but it's not as the river is not as meandery here. Okay, it's just on this corner.
its upper part is sadly only 25. So this road, albeit with a, a couple of brakes in the middle, essentially goes all the way to Delaware. This is quite pleasant. I like this. Yep. Okay. Let's make a left here and then we'll be making a right not long after to get back onto Creek Road. The Brandywine River runs along here. Okay, right turn. Fantastic walking trails along the river down here. I stopped over at Martin Bodo on Friday to see if I could schedule my next service. Or, uh, I guess they don't like schedule service, so they want me to drop the bike off and they say it may be eight to nine days before they can get to it. Oh my god. Well, it's lucky you have two bikes. you don't just get them to pick it up they charge for it this time of year oh i mean the fee is minimal i 
I don't know whether it's twenty-five dollars each way or twenty-five dollars total. Well, it's still twenty-five. <laughs> That's too much. But when they do off-season work, anything over a hundred dollars, they pick up and deliver for free. That's nice. You just you just come to get it, and then they drop it off when it's done. It's it's fantastic. Yeah, they said that I could, uh, if I needed work done over the winter, that I could just pay them because I'm outside of their range, and it's not that much. And they and they would pick up for me and drop off. This road's not as nice here. It's just a little bit broken up. got an off camber lean away right so if you venture too far to the right it just sort of wants to take you to the edge bit of gravel on this corner if it weren't for this road being so busted up it'd be fun oh absolutely once they resurface this it's going to be tremendous as long as they don't oil and chip it. Well, yeah. <laughs> See, there's gravel running right down the middle of the road. I'm definitely getting some bleed through from somebody else, I think. Oh, managed to hit all of those bumps. They kind of sneak up on you, though. It's because they're. Exactly. Oh, not quite. 30 seconds earlier, and we would have been good. If you hadn't have said ow, I wouldn't have had to hit him too. Let's go for it. Is going to shoot out between us. I really love this bit. Except when you get cars cut in the corner. <laughs> Gets it. This is still uh, Creek Road, or? Yep, still Creek Road. It's magnificent, isn't it? It is. what it is I always like riding beside water I mean I guess because there are lots of turns involved yep yep I would agree but it also looks good yeah it does it's always scenic this uh, this area is called Pocops and I was a emergency vehicle I'll 
terrific. We're getting, yep, they're getting pulled over. I'm going to go right now. There we go. Okay, we're going to bear right here. And then more of this wonderful road. The Insta360 suite, can you turn off the horizon lock? Yes, you can. In fact, it's off by default, and then when you go into the, um, I use the studio on the desktop, and that's and that's where I turn it on. I usually keep it on, but for a road like this, I kind of like to have the show the you know the horizon flopping you know but that's the but that's the great thing about the Insta 360 right you can have a split screen <laughs> with both of them oh, wow yeah you, you actually can I never thought of that <laughs> yeah plus you can have it looking behind you too or to the side or whatever that's what I like about it I just I've been so disappointed with the GoPro except for the ease of editing that's the only thing I like about it did you say you got a max lens mod too I did and I tried it and I hated it oh really yep I'm afraid that we're coming to the end of this glorious road we're gonna have to turn left onto US 1 for a while what did you like about the Max Lens Mod? Well, first of all, it can't in any way compare to the horizon levelling of the Insta360. The flow state stabilisation is fantastic. Whereas the Max Lens Mod, it's still got lean that I don't want. So, uh, it also narrows the field of view a little bit, which I'm, I was really surprised about. And... Uh, and the worst thing of all is it's only 2.7k instead of 4k or 5.7 so that's no better really than the uh, so even though it says creek road here we don't want to go down there uh, it's no better than the um, uh, the insta 360 for quality take the next right which is Ring Road 
and the traffic light. So it's just, just, is this just better than the other creek road or is... I, I think so. Uh, last time I went down the other creek road, it was a uh, really bad road surface. Okay. If you're interested in uh, battles, there's your Brandywine battle field there. Clear, but there's a brow of a hill, so you want to double check. Still clear. Definitely want to get your GoPro running now. Is that a bridge there? This is the bridge. We are here already. We are in Delaware already? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I thought you were warning me that some twisty roads were coming up or something. I 
do you want to do a turn around and stop or anything like that? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Let me just ride a little further down here then and find a nice easy place to turn. Also, it's a really good road. <laughs> That's funny, I had no idea we were in Delaware already. I'm not sure. Uh, well, this looks like a good spot. Oh yeah, definitely. Extra wide with the mailbox. I mean, it's right on the board. We're right on the border of the state, you see. Yeah. How's this? Do you want to do this or you want to go, go through on the other side? Um, let's go through on the other side. Okay. A little bit of a hill here. Uh, yeah, if we spin around, we can get like right up next to that uh, stone that, embankment. That big rock? Yeah. Go on then, lady. Let's go. Stick mine over here, you can choose where you want to go. Okay, that works. 